Hey there guys, welcome in another video. Today we're going to be unboxing the CryoRig H7. It's a um, AM, AM3 Plus, an Intel based CPU cooler. Um, this is the non-RGB version. The reason I chose this is because it's short, but the question is, will it fit a 4U rack mounted PC? Okay guys, so let's open this up. As you can see, nice packaging, nice box, all the specs, Intel, AMD, this one supports AM3+, Plus. there is also a possibility to um, implement this radiator uh, into the uh, AM4 Ryzen platform, but you need to apply for a uh, special backplate. That it's that's available through um, through CryoRig website. So yeah, nice packaging. I like it. In the box. The CryoRig cooler. big fan it's not it's not RGB anyhow I don't need RGB because my case is it's a rack mounted case so look not looks nice I didn't go for the uh, Noctua I didn't go for the uh, for the cooler master I went for for the H7 cryo rig because it's the the shortest the shortest one on the market that has got performance equal to the competition that is way bigger, way thicker and mostly won't fit my case. That's why I got this one. Also included in the box the mounting plate. This particular mounting plate is um, It's basically designed this particular mounting plate is designed to have to uh, implement Intel and AM3 plus socket it's not, so it's not the AM4 socket unfortunately the shape is different also manual manual registration cards Nice box, I like it. Extra clips, extra clips to attach another um, fan with a push-pull configuration. So you can unhook this one. There's a clip here. There's a clip here. So you can unhook this one put on another a, a different fan I don't know if it's going to be relevant or not and also if it's not enough cooling for you guys you can also use these clips to mount another push-pull system a fan over here to get better results also the CP7 CP7 thermal paste included in the box as well yeah guys so as you can see I come from a audio recording editing background so I got my case over here uh, it's a uh, constant Q equalizer on the top a 8 channel um, recording interface a cheap cheap uh, mixer 2 channel a P PDU power distribution unit and of course the PC inside inside the case inside the rack okay guys so I got the case out from the rack and uh, let's open it up and show you guys how ridiculous of a setup I have right now at the moment I'm using a stock um, AMD AMD FX 
cooler. Uh, it's overclocked to 4.5, 4.4 gigahertz, and I can't manage the temps. So, um, yeah, I just put this on here like that. So it's a standard, no name. And yeah, I just put this one on it as well, just like that, without mount, without mounting it on. This one is a Zalman, Zalman case fan. So. Uh, I was running this setup like this with two fans on top of each other and um, cooling the CPU um, radiator. Of course, these these two Arctic fans um, helped a lot. I do have the EVGA GTX 1060, the superclocked version, six gigabytes. Um, the main board, it's the uh, the gigabyte GA. 970A UD3 um, 8 plus 2 phase design it's nice for nice for overclocking the big the big question is will this fit in here the machine's got two 8 gig rib jaws G skills installed these are DDR free memory so um, they're they're overclocked to 1800 megahertz standard standard is 1300 on these ones so um, they're XMP ready total 16 gigs of RAM this is how much space is is available here in this particular case there's not much space so case design um, cases overall they're uh, they have limited limited space so if if you don't want to bother just get a standard PC case so yeah guys I undid all the fans the case fans the CPU fan uh, the power fan because uh, it's damn difficult to get the main board out from this for you uh, rack mounted case um, also I think I know why I was getting like 72, 74 degrees on the CPU uh, with this stock cooler and the answer is I just fucking put a lot of paste, there's too much paste I think here and that might cause the, um, the CPU to overheat a little bit. So let me put some less, a little bit less, with the new uh, setup. First of all, let's see if the cryo rig will fit. Okay, guys. So the main board is outside um, the case. As you can see, there is the AMD 8350 FX AM3 Plus um, CPU in here. I cleaned with some rubbing alcohol. The old stock cooler, this one came with the AMD FX350, 8350, and this is the the Cryorig H7, um, well, yeah, you can instantly see what's gonna happen, this, the sheer size between the two is astonishing. So with this one, with this one I got 74 degrees um, while overclocked to 4.5, 4.4 gigahertz, 74 degrees on the CPU before it started throttling back. Uh, yeah, I did have a little bit of too much of a thermal grizzly cryonaut uh, paste applies. I do like this paste. I don't know if it's gonna be enough to apply some more. But just in case, we've got the CP7 that came with the cryo rig. So um, let's mount the back plate first. Original back plate that came with uh, the gigabyte. It says AMD and it says Intel. 
So I reckon I'm gonna go AMD inwards. Okay, I'm gonna go AMD outwards then. It fits kind of neat. Okay, now I've got four bolts. So this is the AM3, AM3 socket. Um, cryo rig uh, allows you to um, apply for the AM4 um, native support. They do offer AM4 na native support uh, through their website. I will take this off because I think I will have difficulties um, putting this into my 4U rack mounted case. So I'm just going to dismount the, the stock fan just to have better clearance. Put it here. Nice, big fan. 16, 1600 RPM cryo rig. That's a PWM. All right, let's get some more rubbing alcohol. <clears throat> yeah. Spray a bit over here. Of course, I'm using a brake cleaner. What did you think? Did you really think I'm using like rubbing alcohol? I'm using brake cleaner. Fucker. Shit, man. I'm not stupid, yeah? So warning, please peel this off before use, and I will, just to um, um, apply some pressure to change these X's. Place. We've got some paste coming out. I think that's good. Don't screw it in too tightly. Just so. Okay, I think it's ready. I had to plug these in because it's going to be extremely difficult to plug them in when the board is inside. As you can see I took the radiator off to have more clearance. I took the radiators from the back to have even more clearance. And yeah, it's a full full ATX um, um, motherboard. And I'm, I'm thinking about you know cable management. Uh, meanwhile, like it's in more cable management that's the h7 cryo rig I managed to move the CPU cables under the main board as you can see over here going under yeah the screw is missing going out and into the socket the, the, the plugs 
the USB free USB free um, header is also routed under the main board as well as the power switch reset switch LEDs they're coming out through there I didn't install the RAM yet I didn't install the, the fan on the cryo rig yet we're just gonna do it now I just wanted to show you the cable management and this is obviously gonna be the uh, PCIe power for the graphics card, the GTX 1060. Putting all of this in here was a true miracle, like Mission Impossible. So let's just test it out. There's uh, the two two chases fans. There's the cryo rig, CPU fan, GTX 1060 super clocked EVGA six gigabytes version 2 G skill 2 G skill uh, 1800 megahertz rams total 16 okay guys well we're at it let's unbox the new TP link AC900 wireless um, PCI Express card just bought it brand new it's the Archer T9E version fastest fastest one available as the card some tech support things a small small short mount nice feature that's how it is with oh yeah the free antennas Open this up. Well, this is how it looks. Three antennas, an LED. Let's, let's mount these on. Well, let's mount these after we install this. So it's got a big radiator somehow. It's going to heat up quickly. Hey, man on the left. Man on the right, man, it's a matter of the metal. Take a good look, 